Hi guys, welcome to the teaching and learning uh, lesson 22, pedagogic questions and answers. Uh, in this uh, lesson, I'm going to add some more questions and how to answer. What are the important areas of, in question and what are the important areas in answers uh, you have to focus while you are attempting. So I'll be telling you some uh, uh, more techniques that you are uh, that will be useful for you in attempting pedagogy exam. So let's see what are these questions and uh, what are the important areas in these questions. So the first question you can see here uh, it's about the learning style. So the blue colors you can see here that is the main part of the question what exactly question is asking. So you can see that a teacher uh, differentiates classroom activities. Now differentiating how? by using the different resources, by listening audios, uh, uh, visuals, and PowerPoint, reading, and all these things. Okay. By doing so, uh, the teacher takes into consideration uh, individual differences among the students in their terms, right? So how you can uh, uh, consider the individual difference? So I will tell you that every student, every human, is born with a different uh, need and different uh, learning uh, style and it, it has a different attitude some students are high learner some students are low learner some students are middle learner and according to that we differentiate in the classroom and teacher use the uh, strategies as per the need of the students this is the uh, one point so some students are good in visual some students are good in audible or audio some students are good in uh, mathematics some students that's why as you remember that uh, cat 4 is uh, which tells that uh, what are the uh, difficulty the students are feeling okay and it helps to uh, the learning style what type of the learning styles as you know that the batteries of the cat 4 okay. so this is the clear thing when uh, when a teacher is uh, complying the different teaching strategies so it has no connection with the physical abilities. No. It, it's not the PE or something. So, see, the questions, they don't have the, any, some answers, especially two answers. They don't have any uh, relation with the answer. One is the physical abilities. So, what are the physical abilities? This is about the audio video. This is about, you know, the brain and the intellectual. Okay. So, the cognitive can be T. Uh, can be right okay but we are talking about the variety of the resources we are not differentiated among the uh, the students or a, uh, and the, the students reflection and output we are talking about the teachers utilizing the different resources okay so that is the learning style that's not a, the cognitive ability attitude towards learning that's not a, a talking again about you know the reflection the response of the student that can be the attitude of so the physical abilities and the attitude towards learning doesn't make sense which has no uh, connection or any relation with the difference here in the classroom so everything is done by the teacher and teacher is uh, uh, complying the different strategies that is called learning style as we know that uh, every student has a different need and uh, uh, for, to fulfill uh, that need, a teacher uh, complies the different, it can be in the curriculum approach and it can be in the teaching style which is embedded in the curriculum. So now here you can see here, learning style can be defined, classified and identified in many different ways. Generally, they are overall patterns that provide directions to learning and uh, Learning style can also be described as set of factors, behavior, attitudes that facilitate learning. Now, teacher is facilitate learning according to the situation. So, that is the different strategies, that is a different in order to meet the individual needs, teacher use different learning styles. We born with the different tendencies. I believe, okay, so the 32 students, 30, 25 students, they have a different tendencies and who has to fulfill uh, the need teacher so i hope this is the uh, will help you now the question number two as you can see here which part of a scientific uh, content does the statement metals conducts 
heat and electricity this is the statement one thing you know metals conducts heat and electricity keep in your mind okay this one it's very are uh, the close connection they have you know number one is generalization number two is a concept number three is a law and number three uh, fourth is a theory or i can say like that a b c d instead of uh number four or one two three four so the first one is a generalizing generalization a statement based on research or fact metal conduct heat and electricity i will give you the uh, background about these two concept is an abstract idea which is not proved if i conceive any idea that is my perspective they don't have any scientific uh, what we call uh, advantage or scientific statement that we can uh, prove it okay so i have already met the red light a uh, red color that it has a no connection with the scientific content concept is a concept but it's not a proof this is the one point second thing law law that describes what will happen in the situation suppose you know newton's law right or uh, that the every uh, action has a opposite a uh, reaction now for this one we have to explain this is the law right and a statement which is a true statement right now for that law we need a explanation and that explanation is called a theory is it explanation metal conducts the heat and electricity so this is not a explanation keep in your mind i'm going to make the red this is also has a no connection for that this is not a theory right now the second thing is law one thing law or the constant and confident which has already been described for that right this is a, already has been described that what laws we have in a physics what laws we have in science this is the one point okay so law and we are familiar with this one so one thing is that okay that this is not a describing this is not a law or something what and uh, happen in the situation okay in this this is not a law so it is a just a statement okay now that is statement is based on what research it's a fact right so the law describe what will happen in the situation right we know that if there is no theory then there is no law as well as you know now the answer is a generalization a statement based on a research now as you remember the inductive uh, lesson or a uh, deductive lesson that inductive is a process that uh, from a specific to general concept for example if you have a h2o water formula you want to prove that a statement is true you have to go through the explanation conduct an experiment that is a specific your uh, idea h2 that's proved now you want to reverse process that you have to go in the lab and prove that h2o is what after that you have to go and start writing explanation so generalization is a reverse process of an a specific uh, experiment so first you have to conduct the experiment then you have to go the observation and then write you have to theory but for specific you have to go theory then observation then come into the specific idea so this is the point okay you have to be careful while you are answer so for two that is a generalizing statement okay which is based on the fact let's move to the number 3 which is statement statements uh, which of the statements below uh, is the best description of what we call learning style as we have discussed now the learning styles is that satisfy the need of the learner and who has to uh comply this one teacher right the way in which each learner prefer to learn means you are satisfying the need of the student that is answer the only way an individual learns of course not why it's the only way the way the learner prefers to arrange his night 
why the learner has to prefer the arranged style. This is a learning style, okay? But the way the learner prefers you know, to learning to arrange his knife. No, the most efficient way for learner to arrange his knowledge. That's not the most efficient way for learner. To the way in which each student. This is not for only particular students, right? This is not only the way. There is a variety of the way. This is not the only way to gain the knowledge. This is not the most efficient, okay, the way the learners to arrange his knowledge. So they don't have, you know, the learning styles are uh, variable. It uh, Each learning uh, student has their own learning style and it prefers according to uh, his or her own way. So the way in which each learner prefers to learn. As I said, every individual has a tendency individual tendency, individual learning style, individual need and they prefer what they want and how they want to learn. That is called the learning style. Similarly, a teaching style that how a teacher prefers to satisfy the individual needs. That is called the teaching style or the teaching strategy. I hope that uh, uh, this information uh, will help you into the uh, teaching and learning. We will be meeting in the uh, next uh, lesson. Uh, thank you so much. Stay blessed and stay safe.